Good afternoon. Today, we're having a talk with Professor Ian Simons um, about medicine program in IMU, and Prof. Ian is the Dean for School of Medicine. Uh, without further ado, uh, Prof. Ian would uh, start the talk. Prof. Ian? Thank you, Prof. Lai. I'd like to talk to you today uh, about studying medicine at the International Medical University. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our program, uh, what makes it unique, um, what opportunities it opens for you in your future career, uh, and uh, a little bit about how you go uh, about entering the program. IMU offers two pathways to medical degree study. Uh, the MBBS five-year uh, domestic program and our partner medical university uh, program, which is of a total duration of between 4.5 and six years, depending on the university that you choose to go to. We have two intakes a year in February and September, each of approximately 200 students, and roughly half of those uh, take the domestic pathway and half of those join the partner medical school scheme. All students undertake an initial two and a half years of study at our Book at Jalil campus in Kuala Lumpur, during which they learn the fundamentals of biomedical sciences, uh, the pathophysiology of disease, uh, communication skills, and uh, what it means to be a healthcare professional. At the end of that time, uh, students who've previously chosen to be enrolled in the partner medical school scheme will leave for the partner medical schools overseas to complete their studies there. And uh, those students who have chosen to complete their studies uh, in the MBBS program in Malaysia will move to one of our clinical campuses in Malaysia. We have a range of partner medical schools across four different countries at the moment, many of which are recognized uh, as being in the top medical schools in their respective countries, and all of which have degrees that are accredited and registered for practice in the partner country. For those students remaining in Malaysia, uh, our principal clinical teaching site is at Saramban, uh, at HTJ Hospital, but we also have clinical placement hospitals at Batu Pahat and Kluang uh, and a range of primary care clinics where students get experience in family medicine and primary care. What makes our medical degree unique is that it is the largest and longest established uh, private medical school in Malaysia and our partnership model means that our curriculum is benchmarked against the highest of international standards. It also means that we have an extensive network of collaboration internationally, which is a pathway for our students into their future careers. And we pride ourselves on our early clinical experience, preparing students for clinical studies and future practice. In addition to the foundational aspects of medical studies and professional development, we have a range of integrated modules across the first two and a half years of our program that is common to all our students, where students have an introduction to what it means to be a healthcare professional, how healthcare systems work, how medical research informs the evidence for medical practice, with a focus on patient safety, safe prescribing, and looking to the future on aspects such as precision medicine. Of course, undertaking a medical degree is only the first step in a career in medicine. Depending on which country students undertake the second part of their degree in, they will usually have to undertake a further period of training as a junior medical officer in order to get full registration. And then subsequently, further training in family medicine or in specialist practice or academic medicine to be fully qualified uh, as an independent practitioner. And this process can last anything from two up to eight or nine years. 
Graduates then have a range of potential options for clinical practice, including the private or public healthcare sectors, and including university-based uh, research or education practice. Medicine offers an incredible array of different career opportunities to, to suit people with different skills and different interests. This can range from general practice or family medicine through to hospital specialities in medicine or surgery, ranging from orthopedics and, family and obstetrics and gynecology through to general internal medicine, pediatrics, psychiatry, emergency medicine. Uh, and within each of these, there are a range of subspecialty interests. But a medical degree is often a pathway to a range of other career opportunities as well, uh, including medical research, medical health administration, politics, or journalism. The first step, of course, is getting a place at medical school. And at IMU, students have to achieve a high level of performance at their high school studies, have to achieve a minimum level of performance at, uh, in competence in English language uh, and take part in an interview process uh, at IMU. So uh, I'm excited to welcome you to the uh, consideration of studying medicine with us here at IMU. Um, and uh, I look forward to meeting you if you decide to pursue this option. Thank you. Let's go back to you, Prof. Lou. Thank you, Prof. Simons, for uh, that introduction about IMU Medical Program. I have a, couple, a few questions. Um, let's start with the first one, uh, Prof. Yanya. Um, what do I need uh, to if I if I if I want to join IMU uh, or what do I need to get admitted to IMU? You need uh, uh, the uh, exact qualification varies depending uh, upon which type of high school or foundation program that you've studied before applying, uh, and we have details of which A-levels or foundation scores, et cetera, that you have to achieve in order to be eligible and what their equivalence is. Um, and similarly, uh, students need to obtain uh, a minimum in their uh, IELTS or an equivalent English language test in order to be eligible. If you are eligible, uh, then uh, you will attend for an interview. Uh, and we will offer places on the basis of the students with the highest academic performance or performance of interview. Right, okay, that's great. So there will be an interview, yeah, Prof. Simons? Yeah. Uh, the next one, um, when do the uh, students need to make a choice of which PMS uh, or uh, the choice whether they want to do local or uh, be in the PMS track? Okay, so uh, students basically decide at the time that they enroll whether they want to be in the PMS or the domestic pathway track. There are some options for changing tracks later on in the program, um, uh, but they are subject to the availability of places on the uh, partner medical school program. Uh, then in the second year, students will be asked to indicate their preference for which country and which partner school they wish to go to if they're in the PMS track, which we then compare to their academic performance and the preference of our partner schools to come up with an allocation uh, of students to a particular partner medical school. So we don't guarantee that students will go to a particular partner medical school. That obviously depends on the demand for places at each partner medical school. But we do guarantee that whichever school they're allocated to, they will get a high quality medical degree, which is registrable at a qualification in the country in which they have studies. Right. Thank you. 
Prof. Ian. The next one, you talk about uh, USMLE just now uh, in terms of the preparatory course uh, IMU, uh, IMU uh, has made it available. Could, could you explain a little bit more about the course uh, for Simon? So uh, many of you may know that in order to practice medicine in the United States, uh, you have to complete the United States Medical Licensing Examination. Uh, and we are the, uh, one of the few uh, universities uh, to offer preparation courses for taking the USMLE in Malaysia. So students have uh, uh, an opportunity to undertake uh, preparation and to sit the USMLE, opening up opportunities for them to obtain a residency place on, uh, in the United States and to practice there. But we also offer elective uh, opportunities for students in the United States, so they get a chance to get some experience of working there, including uh, a research elective at Harvard Medical School. That's great. That's great opportunities, Rafian. Um, and also about the Bachelor in Medical Science, um, would it actually only be for the credit uh, for the uh, credit transfer students, or it is also made available for um, the local track students? So, um, uh, as I said earlier, the uh, standard qualification is a Bachelor of Surgery and a Bachelor of Medicine, and that would be the usual qualification for a medical degree in Malaysia. But students can also obtain a third degree, a Bachelor of Medical Sciences, uh, by undertaking an additional two semesters of study at the end of their two and a half years uh, with us in phase one of the program. And that is open to all students not just uh, students who are going overseas, although it is a requirement uh, for uh, our partner schools that offer graduate entry programs. Uh, not all of our partner schools do that, but for those who do, then students have to do the BMED side. Um, however, even students who are on our domestic pathway uh, can undertake that if they wish to get that extra honours degree um, uh, before they graduate. Right. Thank you very much, Prof. Ian Simons, um, for the uh, clear and, uh, uh, short, and short introduction about IMU Medical Program. Um, I think uh, we would end here. Uh, so thank you again, Prof. Ian Simons. Um, and for the uh, audience who, have, who are listening to this uh, talk or to this recording, uh, you can actually learn more about our program at www.imu.edu.my which is our IMU website. So thank you, uh, everyone.